Hi viewers, welcome to the Junior Astrophysicist. In this video, we're going to be looking at the principle of relativity in the restricted sense and the propagation of light with the principle of relativity. So, in this week, I'm actually doing a whole spe uh, special theory of relativity and finishing the whole topic. So, this is my third video in the week of the special theory of relativity. So, let's begin. Come on. So, the what is the principle of relativity in the restricted sense? Let's begin over there. Because that is the most basic idea of word. According to this, in our previous video, we have seen about coordinate systems. So let's take coordinate system K and another coordinate system K dash. If coordinate system K is in uniform translatory motion, uniform translatory motion. So what is uniform translatory motion? It is in motion, but it doesn't rotate. It never rotates, okay? It's like key, it's always in this motion, but it never rotates. That's what you call uniform translatory motion. And K dash is in uniform motion, okay? So if these two coordinate systems are in motion, and now from K, when you look at, from, when you look at an event from K, and an event from K dash, the, as we all know, the K dash might see the event here, and K might see the event here, but the original event is happening over here. So according to the principle of relativity, we all know that any event happening in space is relative to the observer point of view. So the observer or the reference body is the coordinate system. So according to that law, in the principle of relativity, in the restricted sense, anything that might happen, even though it's relative to the observer's point of view, the original position of the body doesn't change. We know that, but that's why you call the principle of relativity in the restricted sense. That's like something like a law, which states that when you see an illusion, finally there is here. And it's like the body is never here or it's never here. It has always been in this position and it's relative to the observer's point of view. That is the principle of relativity in the restricted sense. Okay, I think now you all understand what the principle of relativity in the restricted sense is. Now let's go to a bit advanced state of it. We'll go with the propagation of light with it. Yes. Relativity. Yeah. So according to propagation of light, the value which comes here is W is equal to C minus V. This is an equation. It's a framed equation. Now, according to this, W is the direction of travel with velocity. Direction of travel with V. Velocity. C is the limiting velocity or the maximum speed at uh, the maximum speed that any object can travel or the speed of light. And velocity is the velocity of the body. Velocity of the body. Yes. So according to this equation. And the principle of relativity, it states that to, uh, what do you say? Yeah, to attain the speed, like to attain the limiting velocity, the speed you need, the uh, increasing velocity you need, and the direction you need is called C minus V. So let's take an example. W is equal to the speed of light, which is approximately 300,000 kilometers per hour. Sorry, meters per second, I'm sorry. 300,000 minus, if the body is traveling at 10 meters per hour, it's 10, and then you're going to have a value which is W is equal to 299,990. So, this is the direction of travel with velocity you need to attain the maximum speed or the maximum velocity or the speed of light. This is how you speak with propagation of light and this principle of relativity. Now, let's go to the part of principle of relativity on the conception of distance. So, let's say that this is a coordinate system K. These are points, points A and B. Now, a car is going in this way. This is the road and the car is going. Now, the car stops here. Or like, if in this country it's still moving, let's record this as the point. From here, we can take points A and B. 
and of each point C and B. Now you can say that the distance or length of the body is relative to the uh, reference body too. I think you don't understand, but then just rewind your mind and look at it for two more or three more times. You would see that the points A and B over here is also equal to the points A and B over here. This is a very commonly known reference. So you can call it that the uh, reference body is relative to the distance. So that's how you say the principle of relativity on the conception of distance. So I think you might have learned about the propagation of light and the principle of relativity, the principle of relativity, and the principle of conception of distance. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and also subscribe to the Junior Ashif Business. I'm sure I'll be back with a new good video in this week of the special theory of relativity. Bye, guys.